Breaking, demoralized cops flee police departments in record numbers. Some say at alarming rate. Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of the Washington Times and it says, Police officers nationwide are turning in their badges at record rates amid budget cuts, policy changes, and anti-brutality protests. It says an estimated 5,300 officers quit or retired from the New York Police Department last year alone. It says two or 300 more cops have left the Seattle force. And in the nation's capital, the union reports that 3,700 strong Metropolitan Police Department is down 300 badges since the D.C. Council enacted a sweeping police reform last summer. So it says Greg Paberton which is a police union chairman, said, quote, officers are leaving at an alarming rate and crime is spiking in all different areas of the country. It said in Baltimore, the department has lost nearly 300 officers since last year, leaving detectives overwhelmed with their caseloads because they too are short staffed. It goes on to say that uh, the leader of the local fraternal order of police, Mike Macuso, said, quote, this is a direct effect on the, the crime fight because there are barely enough time to answer the 911 calls, let alone look for violent offenders. It says that the mass exodus began in the months after de the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis under police custody. And it says that it sparked protests all over the country regarding racism and police brutality, along with calls to abolish and defund the police. Paul Beekman, Jr., former president of the Fraternal Orders of Police and the Western New York Lodge 103, called the movement to defund the police one of the most ill-thought concepts ever. So it says Mr. Beekman told The Times in June that the movement drove him to retire after 35 years of law enforcement service. It says that Mr. Beekman said to reporters, quote, you're going to have forced overtime and tired officers patrolling the streets. Since now these officers that are left over have to pick up the slack for the ones that either retired or quit. He went on to say, you are going to have departments hire candidates that at another time they might not have considered. All of this is going to create a bigger problem. It says, as calls to defund the police have grown louder, some local lawmakers have responded with dramatic cuts to police budgets. It says, in at least nine cities that made large cuts to police to end their funding last year, homicides rose by nearly 68%, according to a data analysis by reporters. It says, even in cities like the district, which made relatively smaller symbolic cuts to police budgets, it recorded significant increases in violent crimes. So in D.C. alone, Mayor, Bauer, uh, Mayor Bowser, I'm sorry, 2020 budget proposal included a nearly $18 million increase for the Metropolitan Police Department, but the final bu budget approved by the council represented a reduction compared with that of previous years. It says the city of more than 705,000 people recorded 198 killings by the end of 2020, the highest in 16 years. It says the police department has under 3,300 rank and file officers on duty, which they said is the fewest in decades. So Mr. Paberton which he is a person with the D.C. police, said these numbers, they're headed towards catastrophic. Officers are getting their, it says officers are getting there and they're very tired. They're worn out. They're exhausted. It says as officers are continuing to hang up their handcuffs, D.C. crime statistics say, said that on Tuesday that homicides in the city are 35% up and 49 killings to 66 over the same period of time. It says most of the officers who have left this since the last year cited the D.C. Council's emergency police reform and justice legislation that passed um, in the summer as the main cause for them leaving.
It says, unless the council changes some of the provisions, people are going to continue to leave this department and crime is about to soar. So as you guys know, all over the place, the Democrats are trying to defund the police. At the same time that they run to the police and force them to protect them when there is any confrontation or any problems, just like what happened at the Capitol. All the Democrats in Congress have been shouting, you know, defund the police, get rid of the cops, shut down police precincts. And at the same time, when January 6th happened, they ran to the police and begged them to keep them safe. Just hypocrisy at its worst. So let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Make sure that you subscribe and you click that bell if you are new and you enjoyed this report. Also, make sure you click the thumbs up button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. So click it. Thank you so much for your help. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or if you're on Gab and Parlor, make sure you follow us at Golden State Times. Make sure that you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and that you join us on the next one. My name is Jen Goldstein. I hope to see you here very soon. But until then, peace.